Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys that I went to the Adidas employee store for the first time ever. I've had access a lot. I just never, ever go. I've never been like high on the priority list, but um, as I've tried to expand in the last like couple years now, it's kind of exciting to actually go and see what they have um, in store there. And I was pleasantly surprised. They had actually quite a bit of stuff. Uh, there's kind of a, a look at kind of the sneaker um, wall right back there. They had soccer stuff. Sorry, some of these pictures are a little blurry. I was trying to take them while I was in the store, which I don't think is probably okay, but I figured why not? What's, what's the worst that's going to happen? They tell me I can't come back. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I ended up going to meet uh, Matthew, who's a subscriber of mine, and he um, I met him at the Lillard event at the Compound Gallery, um, and he always supports the videos. I'm always seen on Twitter. He's always thumbing, thumbsing up the videos. And uh, those things were actually pretty rad, too. The cushioning on those running shoes were nuts. But anyway, so, um, and these lightning ones, too. I actually really, really wanted to get those ones. Unfortunately, I ended up forgetting my wallet when I met him. So I was not able to go and buy anything. So I might have to go back. But anyway, so shout out to Matthew. Um, I'll put his information in the description. I believe he has a YouTube channel and a Twitter handle. If you guys want to follow him in either, feel free. But he uh, was a cool dude, man. He goes to U of P. And uh, I actually met him up because I sold him a pair of my Dunkman LeBron 11s. Um, and I sold them to him for $70, which is a pretty good price. But And they're new. They're the DS pair that I own. But I have a lot of LeBron 11s. I don't need all of them. And uh, I got those ones for, like, a decent price. So I was like, you know what? Like, that's what he was, like, saying he could probably afford. And I was like, well, why not just sell it to him? He always supports the videos. And he's always a nice uh, a dude. So, um, I mean, I just figure I can do whatever I can to help him out. So it was nice to be able to meet him up. And then, um, we ended up, uh, just chatting and hanging out at the employee store for a while and looking around. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. But pleasantly surprised though. They had quite a bit of stuff here. I don't know how, um, big releases work. These are the ones that I also wanted. These are the new Lillard ones, um, that are kind of like a PE style. And you can see it actually says Dame on the, the eyelets there, which I didn't know actually had that. So I had those in hand ready to buy, which actually Matthew ended up getting those um, off of a gift card that he had. And uh, and then they had some D-Rose uh, 4.5s as well for those interested in the D-Roses. But, uh, but I was all about those Dames. I wouldn't mind getting those ones. And definitely those those ZXs with the, the lighting print. I actually covered those on a blog on my site, um, collectivekicks.com, a long time ago just because I really liked that print. It reminded me of the old Prestos. And that era of things. The other big thing that they had right here is um, they had a whole bunch of stuff uh, from um, from like the like a Trailblazer thing, obviously, because Adidas sponsors the NBA. So there's a whole bunch of, of Blazer stuff. So I had a Lillard T-shirt picked out, and I had two Lillard T-shirts for the wife picked out. And then I came down to grab my wallet, and I was like, dude, I totally forgot it at home. So I didn't bring my wallet. They had a Drexler jersey and some Aldridge and Lillard, even a, a Bill Walton jersey. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I just ended up missing out on all of it, unfortunately. Um, so I'll probably have to go back. I, I do have a pass still for there, and the passes are pretty easy to get uh, for the most part, and I apologize for the double picture right there. But, uh, but yeah, the passes are pretty easy to get to the Adidas Employee Store. So if you're ever in, in Portland, I, I can't really hook people up to the, the Nike Employee Store, but like the Adidas um, Employee Store is really easy to, uh, to reach out and, and get people into. Um, I mean, I don't have to do it. You can just do a search and, and pretty much get into the store. Uh, but uh, I think this is some of the chick shirts right here. I actually liked them, and I was going to get my wife that one with the Lillard uh, on the right. But uh, but unfortunately for me, and then I came home, and there's a, oh, there's all this Mitchell and S stuff over here. Um, unfortunately for me, I, she came home, and she's like, why do you never get me anything, like jokingly, because I, I totally m um, missed out on buying her some, some stuff. There's that Drexler jersey right here. I really wanted that one as well. Um, but uh, but yeah, dude, all, all in all, pretty solid employee store. They have lots of running stuff. They had the soccer stuff, which I don't care about, but a lot of NBA stuff and a pretty wide selection of sneakers from casual to, I mean, the the, the uh, soccer shoes, obviously, and the basketball shoes, the retros. They had quite a few of them. They had some crazy ones in like three different colorways and stuff. So it was neat to see some some sort of a variety and, and for not too killer of a price. Um, but that was pretty much it. This is uh, him, uh, Matthew. Uh, you can see his um, H Superman underscore 18. And thanks for meeting up, dude. Appreciate that. And... Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys for another video. Um, I think I have another one coming later today. Peace, guys.